In this presentation, we're going to look uh, quickly look at the geometric distribution in R, and it's fairly similar to all the other distributions. There's one important point I want to make in this, though. So this is just the sort of the general theory of the geometric distribution. That's to say that there's actually two of them. Okay, this is important. So the probability, so that you can actually describe the name geometric distribution describes two different things. The probability distribution of the number x of Bernoulli trials need to get one success supported on the set 1, 2, 3. That's a very formal definition. And uh, so it's an, uh, what is the probability, for example, that the first attempt is the first success, or the second attempt is the success, or the third attempt is the success? Uh, that differs from this other sort of formulation. The probability distribution of the number y equals x minus 1 of failures before the first success supported on the set 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, whichever one of these is called D, geometric distribution, is a matter of convenience. So let's just get this clear. Attempt 1, I'm attempting something, and according to x, uh, the probability that I get it right on the first attempt is probably x equal to 1. Okay, so attempt, the first attempt is, the, is, is a success. The second one is that the probability y, the number of failures, uh, is, uh, is to do with the number of failures. So if I get it right in the first attempt, the number of failures, this is the key thing here actually, before the first success, so if I get it right in the first attempt, the number of failures before I succeeded was zero. Now this is actually, really the, the, the difference isn't, isn't major between the two. You, you should, from one you should be able to figure out the other. Okay, so, but the thing is, how does R treat this? That's the question. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the help file. So I, I have R open here, okay. Actually, let's just change the settings there for a second. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the help file now and see what the help file says about how to deal with the geometric distribution. So what I could do there is go right in something like help dgom something like that, okay. And that will get me the help file which is here. So this is the help file and it's right down the bottom of it. So what does it do? The geometric distribution, okay, and that's the the uh, all the sort of the, the main commands dgom, pgom, qgom, rgom. Uh, but let's go down here. So number a vector of quantiles or a vector or a quantile, I think of uh, quantiles uh, representing the number of failures in a sequence of Bernoulli trials before the success occurs. Okay, so. Essentially what, it's, it's essentially what I'm sort of saying is here, and let's just see, does it have any other, um, does it sort of switch from one to the other type? No, it actually specifically uh, looks, it only considers the second of our two options here, okay? So with the R, you're dealing with the probability dis distribution of the number of failures before the first success, okay? So let's go to R. And suppose probability of success uh, in a geometric experiment is one. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? Not one. Uh, not point three. Okay. And so probability, I use y here, uh, that you get it right in the first attempt is uh, one. Sorry, what does that mean? That means that the probability is of y equals 1, that there was one failure before first success, and the probability of that. Okay, that's exactly what that means with r. Uh, probability of... Um, uh, success first time is what? Well, that is probability of y equal to zero. Okay, 
as far as and by the way these are all comments I'm just writing it in so that you can sort of okay so how do we do that with uh, R so it will be D G O M and uh, zero attempts or zero failures before the first success and the probability of success is 0.3 now what does that do? 0.3. That actually sort of makes sense if you think about it. What's the probability? If your probability of success is 0.3, what's the probability you get it right the first time? 0.3. Okay. So what's the probability you get it right the second time? 0.21 and so on. 0.47. So what does this mean? There was two failures before your first success. Okay. And that is it really, that's the key thing about the probability distribution, the geometric probability distribution, that there are two different ways of specifying it. And it's actually, you're in college, you might actually sort of be uh, leaning towards one, not realizing there's a very similar second one. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it there because actually other than that it's uh, very similar to the Poisson and binomial distribution, I'll sort of cover them in other videos with how to do P and R and all that. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there.